Yo, how did you even hear about the auditions? Because you knew you was in trouble. You knew I couldn't leave the state because in actuality, like you said, yo, I'm crossing state lines. How'd you hear about the auditions first and foremost? And what made you just say, F it, I'm going to go and I'm going to take my chances. I know this could get me locked up and send me upstate for a minute, but I'm going to just take my chances with it. I mean, it's just, you know what I mean? Coming from the inner city, coming from single parent um, family, coming from the projects, um, low income housing, it's just nothing really that we have to look forward to. to. Even though I grew up in, um, I would say, uh, an academic a directed family. Like I come from a Christian background. Yeah, I mean, I come from a, a good family. Uh, my, my mother and father was married. They, they still was married until uh, my father's death, which happened January 3rd of this year. So I'm still dealing with that. But um, yeah, I come from a fairly good family. We in, Real Christian oriented family. But you know what I mean? Me coming from the inner city, not being exposed or living like a middle class family, I started selling drugs to compensate for the things that my mother couldn't buy me. Like, like, like all us black kids do. And that led yep. me down that path. And I wound up getting in trouble, fucking up my academic career. So all through school, I got straight A's and straight B's. I, I, I took a test to, uh, to, to, to apply for the uh, number one academic school in Philadelphia, which was Central High School, which is the same high school Bill Cosby went to, the same high school DJ Drama went to, and the same high school Cassidy went to. We all went to that high school. Not at the same time, but... You know, Cosby is way before our time, but me, Cassidy, and DJ Drama, we all shared the halls at the same time. Yo, you want to know what's bananas? I, I People forget that Drama is from Philly. Even when you <laughs> said that just now, I, I totally right. forgot that Drama was from Philly. Yeah, DJ Drama's from Philly, yeah. Was y'all was in high school at the same time? Yeah, we was, we was all in high school at the same time. Drama was my friend. So you, you before can he came, with- DJ Drama... We, we we had a rapport. We had a rapport. Because we always shared the love for music. So he would do the mixtapes and go down to South Street, which was like the key area for like hip-hop back then, underground hip-hop. That's where I met Tyreek from The Roots, Malik B, and all those guys from like the from like the from that era. But before the Rockefeller Bean State Property, but for that era, it was a, a subculture in, in Philly. The Roots, um, Rashida Ill-Advised, the Fat Cat Click, a couple of groups that was making noise. 100X, you know, they was backed by Rashid Wallace. You know what I mean? He used to play for the Detroit Pistons. So it was a couple groups that was like had noise. Ram Squad. So these was the groups that was like prominent rap groups back then. Nine Brigade, which went by Task Force. So it was a couple of groups that was making noise. So it was like once I got locked up, I had missed that whole, I'll call it Train to Paris. When I say Train to Paris, the year I got locked up and did my time was the year that the industry came through Philly and scooped everybody. The Beans, the Eves, the Most Wanted, the Roscoe P. Cold Chains. All those guys got signed the year that I had got arrested. So making a band to me was like the only thing left for me to able to jump over the process of playing my demo and having meeting after meeting to really just get up and close with the guy that can make the decisions. That's dope, kid. That's a super dope story. Uh, it, I mean, it's it's crazy because when you think about that much talent, it ain't like Philadelphia is New York or it's L.A. That it's that's a small place. It's a small place. No, it thing, is. It, yeah. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.